Meet Michael Fronzese, deeply connected to the Mafia's history. He was born into the famous Colombo crime family, and his life was filled with power, loyalty, and danger. But things changed unexpectedly, as he shifted from a life of wrongdoing to one of making things right. Let's explore the intriguing story of Michael Fronzese, a man who stepped out of the Mafia's shadow to share his journey of change and strength. Along with insights into his family history, starting with Sonny Fronzese, Michael Fronzese's father, was a key figure in the Mafia, convicted for crimes like racketeering and conspiracy. Sonny left a notable impact on Michael's life. As a key player in the Colombo crime family, Sonny was deeply involved in activities such as loan sharking and extortion. This connection to organized crime influenced Michael's upbringing, shaping the path that led to his own involvement into the Italian Mafia. Michael Fronzese's involvement in the Mafia included a substantial role in the gasoline business. He engaged in a gasoline tax fraud scheme, manipulating the fuel tax system for significant financial gain. This illicit enterprise allowed him to exploit loopholes and generate substantial revenue through fraudulent activities in the gasoline industry. By participating in such schemes, Michael contributed to the Mafia's financial success, while simultaneously reinforcing his own wealth. Now what is the Mafia? The Mafia, also called La Cosa Nostra, is a notorious organized crime group with roots in Italy and a substantial presence in the United States. Operating like a secret society, it's organized into families, each led by a boss. These families follow a strict code of silence, known as emerita, and engage in various criminal activities such as racketeering, extortion, and illegal enterprises. Michael Fronzese went to jail for his involvement in racketeering, specifically related to a gasoline tax fraud scheme. In 1986, he was sentenced to 10 years in prison, however, he was released on parole in 1989 after serving approximately three years of his sentence. Michael served his prison time in various facilities, including the Federal Correctional Institution and the Terminal Island in California. His time behind bars was a significant chapter in his life, marking a transition that eventually led him to leave the Mafia and pursue a different path. Michael Franz Daisy left the Mafia by cooperating with law enforcement and providing crucial testimony against other members. His decision to cooperate was influenced by a desire to distance himself from the criminal life and seek a new path. After leaving the Mafia, Michael faced challenges, including threats to his life, but he persevered in his commitment to a lawful existence. We hope you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.